All right. Uh, welcome back, everybody. So I think what I'm going to do today, so we're going to do the some Skyrim co-op with Potastic today. But I'm probably going to stream twice. So I'm, I'm going to stream for like a few hours here. Uh, and then I do have some stuff to do. And, uh, and then I'll be back for tonight. I think we're going to start at uh, 6 p.m. EST as usual. Why so late? It's cause she streams late. She's in uh, like PST or whatever. So it's kind of late. Okay, we just killed Sewer Moog, and we got to go kill Morgoth before we can get the fingerprint shield, which is something I didn't even think about. So, so I guess uh, I guess we'll just do this all at plus seventeen or. Um, actually, let me think about this. So, plus 17. We're about to get the bell bearing for fives and sixes, right? Yeah, we could just stay plus 17 for now, but I kind of want to look around a bit more. Let's go here. But yeah, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're on the journey to get the fingerprint shield. I don't... I guess we'll just go this way. This is, I, I don't really um, explore this area too often. The last time was like actually probably my first playthrough. But yeah, this build is coming along like pretty nicely, I'd say. I do need a little bit more endurance, though. It's kind of annoying that I can't wield all this stuff. Yeah, today is, is Skyrim. Yeah, we're going to do it a bit later. So. Yeah, how's it going, everybody? How are you intended to get down? I know you can survive this drop, but... Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do in Skyrim. Like, I don't know if we're going to prioritize trying to beat the game. I oh, was where you get the cane sword. Uh, we're probably not going to prioritize that. But may I don't know. I, I, I guess we'll just have to see. Oh, let's get this ledge. How are you supposed to get down? I guess from here. Or maybe the roots. Okay, another six is good. Shield only in Skyrim? I've never even thought about that. I don't know. Probably not, but... Yeah, we definitely need more HP regeneration at this point. Oh, this is how you're supposed to get down. Ah, okay. Maybe, maybe. How's it going, gents? Also, uh, Jackal. Ever. Thanks so much for the brand new sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is this is one of my most fun. This is one of my favorite runs so far. I think that I've done. It's definitely up there. Because there's like, there's not a crazy amount of variety, but it's enough that it's interesting. And, uh, I don't know. It's just cool. Like, it's it's surprisingly good. And it's always, it's always fun when it's, a, it's always fun when the build that I'm using is surprisingly good. Oh. How do I do this? Oh boy. Our damage is definitely decreasing. 
Like, relative to the game's damage levels. Yeah, we killed everybody in Altus so far. Oh! Mirror shield. Ah! Uh, oh, he drops the seal. That's interesting. Up, uh, Grimori. But yeah, we've killed, uh... We've killed every single boss up to lane down. I would love to get a shield drop on these guys. Ah. I don't know this moveset well enough to know when guard countering safe. I guess there's not really much down here, is there? Uh, the shield good. It just it's it's a it has a lot of guard boost. Basically. I don't know, how, how are you supposed to get in here? It's the foot. I... How are you supposed to get in here? This isn't right. You're supposed to go from up there. Oh, from over there? Is there a hole? Ah, it doesn't matter. Well, okay, I might as well do this <laughs> while I'm here. There's two items in there, and one of them might be a smithing stone. Like, from here? Oh, wow. Insane jump. Stone sword key. Okay, so apparently, um... In here, there's some... Sevens somewhere? Knights resolve on a shield? You cannot. That would actually be, like, that would be crazy strong if you could, but I don't believe you can. What about a run starting at max level? Hmm. I don't know if there's really a point in that. Because you already, you, like, even not at max level, you already get so strong in this game that I just don't know why you would do that. But, like, what? You would get out of it. <laughs> yeah, unless you're using the ladle. True. Uh, Mazigan, welcome back. Is there really just nothing in here? Where are we at right now? So we're at 1-8. I've got five sevens. So... Also, I guess now we can go get the regeneration ring. I didn't think about that. We should probably go get it. A five. Yeah, that'll actually be really nice. What is this painting reward? No hit ladle run. I I have in DS two, but it was during the run request, and they requested that I start at max level. So. And even at max level, it was not great. I'm practicing Renala. I didn't. Why Why is he planning on doing that? I mean, Renala, like, if you can figure out consistent Red Wolf, then... Renala can make sense, because she's a really easy boss, but... I 
Again, she could be scripted. But Red Wolf's the biggest problem. So what is he doing for Red Wolf? Wait, he's doing three Great Rune? Why would he do that? It's weird. Oh, there's another one here. Yeah, you can definitely one shot. Like if you're doing, whoa, this looks weird as hell. If you're doing uh, like a sleep strat or something, then yeah, you could definitely do that. It just, I, I don't know why you would ever do that on like in any percent, but there's probably some stuff I'm missing. Okay, buddy. Enemies are a pain in the ass if you don't have lightning. Well, I guess I technically do have lightning. Wonder. I wonder if that would actually be better. Let's see. Because we're going to get a poise break. I, I would like to upgrade this shield at some point. Lightning damage can be good. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. Plus zero. Poise break? No poise break though. Is that always there? The Stormhawk Axe? Or is that like... So you can get three? It's interesting. You can get four on a single playthrough, really? Allowed to die. Yeah, this is just kind of like a casual run. It's number six. Where do you get the, the wet stone from, by the way? Did I like totally miss an area? I probably did. I don't I don't know this area very well. Castle Saul? Oh. Huh, that's weird. Why are there so many of them? Also, I love how the shield just clips straight through my helmet. That's great. What's up, uh, Sahara? All right, here we go. This is this is gonna be like a pretty big part of our build, actually. Done. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't bother killing this guy, but. We're doing full casual run, basically. What? Run off the edge. It's a shame.
Oh, why can you not fall off, dude? <laughs> That'd be so funny if you could. Please. Here we go. Drops nothing, of course. This portal. Uh, is it not always active? All right, bless do talisman. So that's really good for us. Fry shield. Uh, yeah, we've got it all set up. We got frost on it. It's it's actually um it's not bad. We only have at a plus twelve right now, so it's kinda hard to tell. Golden retaliation. Wait, can you golden retaliation a projectile from golden retaliation? I actually have no idea. I would assume you can't, but I don't know. That that'd be hilarious. Play like a mini game like that. All right, so I guess we're going to the upper floor down here, which I don't rem even remember how to get there, but. Maybe you can, that'd be hilarious, dude. I would imagine you can't though. All right, so how do I get to this upper floor? I don't remember how. Yeah, ping pong, dude. Is it, there's not an illusory wall, is there? Or something? Oh, like from over here? This is what happens when you have like 2,000 hours in a game, except you're <laughs> like not exploring the map every time you play it. Is it like, is this right? Oh, 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 my bad. After 2000 hours still enjoying. Well, yeah, I guess it's like, it's a totally different way of playing it, right? Also, is there not like a smithing stone out here? dog next item uh so i guess we want we need to kill morgoth so that we can get the get access to the fingerprint shield hero's rune is there is there's there should be some sevens up here right And quite a few sixes, though. Which is good, but... We're about to, uh... We're about to get, like, the wet blade anyway, so... Or, not the wet blade, the bell bearing after Morgoth. Or, well, actually, I don't know. I, I haven't decided if I want to go to mountaintops yet, but it would make sense to go do mountaintops, I think, after this. Probably. Lore reason why this place exists? I don't know. Probably, I I don't know. In Dark Souls 3, they had like an old Firelink Shrine. I assume this is like the same thing. It's like the old version. Maybe. Maybe there's no sevens in here. Uh, Matt, thanks for giving the sub to Ash. Thanks so much, dude. 
maybe oh maybe nice mazikeen dude i'll give you the best yeah, incantations are, are really fun okay well i guess there's not any upgrades up here maybe i missed them that you can't play golden retaliation ping pong that'd be a shame all right, let's go kill uh, Goldfree then. I think it would have been cool if the actual round table hold was connected somewhere that you could actually go to from the game. That would have been cool. I don't think Ritual Shield is... Hmm. I guess Ritual Shield could be good for us. Nice aim, fucking idiot. Of course. Oh, that fucking blasted. I didn't know we hit these guys. I don't think blocking is so great against this guy. I can't really... I can't, the way his body is shaped means I can't really... counterattack him very well. we go. Nice one. This is going to be a good preview of our duo Garg fight. Oh, of course. Oh my god, how did that hit him? Doesn't even make sense. I guess Ritual Shield could be useful if, um, it could be useful if I fail to block an attack, basically. Wait, could I go? Ah, just need a little bit more endurance. not good yeah we yeah exactly yeah if we don't take chip damage
Is that a is that RNG drop? Or does he always drop that? RNG, dude, we're getting we're getting like every single RNG drop on this run somehow. Like we got the Envoy Longhorn and like the Envoy Horn. Like in two like in just two kills. <laughs> like we got both of them. It's insane. Clearly blessed run somehow. Oh. Uh okay, let's use this one. And we'll go with this one. Here we go. Oh. When you're doing a run where you block everything and then an opponent does like a grab attack that you can't block, it's very... I don't know. It's tricky, man. I guess I shouldn't use the shield for now. All right, ritual shield. I, I think that could potentially be useful. Anything else up here? Let's go and bender. Any upgrades? Five. Which I don't really need. We should probably rest before we fight gold free, I would assume. We'll just run back. How, do how doable would this run be if you weren't allowed healing from flats? I think it'd be pretty easy. Like, but are you saying... Like, it depends on the play style, because... I, I specifically wanted to go with a setup where... I'm just trying to block as much as possible. But I think this run would be easier if you just optimize your damage and just roll attacks instead of blocking. Or, well, maybe not easier, but easier for me. Since that's what, that's what I'm used to doing. Here we go. All right, we got all this stuff. We got all of it going, dude. Yeah, because shields, I mean, shields can definitely put out some damage. Oh, I never got the sevens from the sewer. I mean, holy is not great for this anyway, so. No, we haven't gone through Caleb yet. Not yet. Torch. Uh, yeah, Torch could be maybe fun, I guess. Maybe not, though. I don't know if torches are interesting enough. But maybe they are. Yeah, maybe we should be using the spike shield here. Nah, not really better. I think once this is upgraded, it could be quite a bit of damage. How is that even possible? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Is this the famous Gino machine? 
Uh, Heisman, thanks for the 30 month reset, dude. Welcome back. Oh shit, they just healed the full. That's kind of bullshit. Oh, and he's got a buff on. What's that buff that he's got? Whoa, I haven't seen that. Yeah, this is where like blue tear stone. So this this is part of the reason why we're here is to get this next slot. This next talisman slot. Bull goat armor. It would be, but we're doing region lock and we haven't gone to Gelmir yet, so I have to go to Gelmir to get bull goat armor. Which we'll get at some point. All right. Um, it's actually kind of annoying because I don't know where to put the finger seal. Okay, so let's buff up. So this one, we'll use this one, this one, and this one. There we go. Wooly. Thanks for the two month rhyme sub, dude. Dude, he can't do anything to me. Whoops. Can't do anything. Pretty simple. All right, our final talisman pouch. So, so we got the regen. Like ritual shield could be decent, I guess. Same with blue blue feather is actually better. If I if I'm just not gonna heal, blue feather is actually insanely good because uh, it gives you the insane damage res like boost or or defense boost at low health. So it lasts for more percentages of HP than just like 99.9% .9 or whatever. All right, so once we kill Morgoth, then we only have Esgar to kill and then we're done with the with Lane Dell. Um But yeah, we're about to go get the fingerprint shield, dude. Maybe we can use it on Esgar. Cuz we should be able to get it Oh man, I just need one more five and one more six and I can get it to plus 18 right away. 
It should be plus 19. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Surprised that you like the shield run so much, but it has been a lot of fun. Uh, Ray, thanks for the two-month Prime sub. Yeah, it's been fun. I think it's fun, it, like extra fun because it's not what I'm what I usually would do. So it's a way different play style than how I normally play these games. Oh, get fucking staggered, dude. Maybe, maybe. Those block frames. I'll give you the best nut ever. Hey, hey, baby. Uh, ah. Uh, I want to know you out here to another cosplay run. Bazia, thanks for the 11 month resub. Yeah, there's definitely, um. There's a hell of a lot more requests for me to do. So. Okay, Blessing of the Ur Tree is uh but yeah i'm sure there's there's some sort of cosplay in there at some point this is decent but it's i don't know too high faith the talisman uh these these are the ones that got it set up so blue dancer i should probably switch for something else right now um like this one's probably not bad Dude, even the Urtree favor, I guess, isn't bad, as I think about it. I don't know. What do you guys think we should get on here? Sort of a free slot. Oh, the Turtle Talisman, dude. I've been... Oh, yeah, man. I've been waiting to get that. Okay, yeah, let's go grab that for sure. I've been waiting. For the extra talisman slot to get the turtle talisman. Because there's, like, we don't need it on every boss, but certain bosses that attack a lot, like the bell bearing hunters, it's, uh, like, very important. Here we go. Two? It's actually three great shields <laughs> on, on, that I'm, I've got equipped right now. Let's go on ice. And not your dive will come back. All right, there we go. So I'm going to put it... Wait, I'm going to put it here because this is sort of like our flex slot. I think Blue Dancer could be very good, but there's just there's not really many situations where I'm actually going to need that. Shield set. No, it doesn't have to be heavy load, but I think it just fits the theme of the run better if I'm just a tank. It doesn't have to roll. What do you guys where do you guys think we go next? Do we go to maybe, Kayla next maybe. or do we go to I'll give you the best nut ever? Machino honest. Mountaintops. Alcos, thanks for the seven month prime sub. Welcome back. There's a lot of options of where to go next. I guess he's doing holy damage through that. Oh. Done. Something I would very much like to test. But yeah, he's really chipping through that.
No, it doesn't work. That's too bad. Dang. That's a shame, dude. He's really chipping through my shields, though. Like, he does holy damage, right? Surgery Great Shield might be better. Um. Nice. This is very satisfying, just fucking <laughs> tanking everything. <laughs> That's great. My regeneration is high enough where, like, even him going through my shield doesn't really matter. Good. Nice. Devastating whiff. <laughs> Damn. Even with all the chip damage, like with that with all the regeneration we have, it didn't actually even matter that much. The shield prevails. I wonder how many bosses we just haven't rolled on at all. Because, like, I, I don't think I rolled at all there, did I? Just block at all. I don't know if I rolled a single time. Yeah, true. When, well, when I had... I don't know if a one eyed against Rykard's going to be great, but when I'd shield against... I don't know, it's got range, right? Did I roll? I don't think I did. Maybe if I got no knocked down. Allow me. You are unable I don't think I rolled. Prevented by the mantle of the thorns, a husk. He only went become the my purpose. So but I yeah, there's there's lots of stuff in both areas, man. And guide you. I, I I don't know which is better, but we still have to kill Esger, so doesn't actually matter. We gotta just kill him first. Your thoughts. At what Your point mission. do I start leveling up stats so I can wield Prince stuff? How much how much strength for the one-eyed shield, you guys? Anybody know? Or, sorry, the fingerprint shield. Is it like 50? I guess we could just go check. It's only 35? Yeah, it's tough to say. I think I think we leave Gelmir until later because Rykard. I want a better build for him. So, so Mountaintops gives us access to the One-Eyed Shield. It gives us access to the Bell Bearing so that we can buy fives and sixes. Uh, we also... What else is there? More upgrades, obviously. But if we go to Kaelid, we can get to a plus nine, Somber. And then we get the Visit Shield. We get... I don't know what else is there. Also, where where actually is the one eye shield? Is that the at the bottom? Or, or sorry, the fingerprint shield. You fucking angry merchant. 
yeah, Spike Palisade Shield, that's true. But we kind of already have... Like, already having the Briar Shield is... Close to the bottom. Okay. I'm, I'll just look around here, because I don't know. I don't know this area so well. Kaelid also has the, um... How do I get this? Oh. Whoops. Is that, is that the shield there? Oh, what, what is that item there? Because I'm kind of curious now. Is there another guy I can, like, bait? Sten. I, I don't know. Which style barbecue is best? I have no idea. I good call. Oh. <laughs> the crafting material. Yeah, I, I really don't know. Frenzied cookbook. That's what I get. I was trying to troll him, and I played myself. Okay, so is this item, like, is it... It's past this point, right? I would assume. Like, I see that item, but that's not the, the fingerprint shield, I thought. I thought that was like a spell. Did I miss it? Oh, there's a... Oh. Hey, where's a merchant that's going to break this tent for me? I didn't know there's a place down here. How are you supposed to break this? Without a quid out. I'm just going to break the tent anyways. Well, I, I just, I want the, I want the, oh. Oh, there's a guy here. This is the shield. Hello, man. Dude, all right, here we go. We got the big, the big boy shield. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. I want to just, I want to see the interaction. Gaming. Uh, I'm just the best. Thanks for the three month resub, dude. Welcome back. All right, buddy. Yeah, that should reach it, right? Mikola's needle. All right. I didn't even know that little room was there. I, 
I guess we could technically go to Deep Root right now after Ezgo's killed. That's another option, but I just, I don't know what's there for us, so I don't know why I would go there. Um... All right, the fingerprint shield, 29, dude. Jesus, that's heavy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that, that might mean that for now we need the arsenal charm. But this is probably going to replace this shield for us. So, and man, that, that arsenal shard is a lot of extra carry weight, dude. Jesus. Is that what, is that like a percentage? Like 20% or something? Damn. Okay, so we need... Uh, what, you guys said like 35? Not sure if I'm able to get to that yet. We're gonna need some runes. I actually have quite a few. Alright, let's go back to round table. Oh wait, I do have enough already. Oh, okay. I forgot about all the stat boosts I got. Okay. Um. So, so this is interesting. I, I'm very excited to try this on Esger. Is he should get madness proc'd, right? And then we could also go with like some other elemental type. I don't have the poison blade yet, but apparently that's good. Same with bleed. The black knife. Apparently that's good. I feel like frost would also be good, but I don't know. We gotta get it upgraded. So we we need one more five and one more six. Where can I get that? We're going to get another five and six. Why's where you get Thunderbolt? Okay. Let's go get it upgraded now. God, we are just chunky, dude. The only thing that we're missing now is like the bull goat armor. And then we're fully chunked out. Alright, so we're plus 14. Look at that guard boost, too. Compared to what I was using before. Like, <laughs> look how much more guard boost that is. Insane. And we got madness on it. Alright, so let's go... Let's go back to Landell. There's yeah, there's gotta be another five and six somewhere out here. And then we can get it to plus what, nineteen, I think? Or plus twenty? Plus nineteen. And how about the elemental? Oh man, it's really good on everything. That's crazy, dude. I wonder how the base AR compares, though. It's better. <laughs> it's way higher base damage, but I don't know about the scaling. What the fuck? Okay. That's enough. That's quite enough. Okay. Um, I grabbed...
Dude, the amount, of, the amount that he ticks through my shield, like, instantly gets healed. <laughs> Just, oh, here it is. No. Just fucking thrust a big fucking concrete slab into the enemy's face. Unfortunate. There's a five. Is there? Are there any more sixes around here? Anybody know about a six? I just need one more. Oh, I guess I could have went to that grace. Uh, I think I grabbed the six near the worm, or the tree spirit. Be down here. That doesn't look like a six to me. This rat's a god. Six. Use the bell bearings? No, I definitely can, but we haven't gone to mountaintops yet. And I can't yet. And uh, we can prolong going to mountaintops if I can get another stone. But it's just, it's hard to say whether Kaelid or mountaintops is better to go to for the next region. I really don't know. See if we, we can find a six somewhere here, though. Because I, I just, I have no idea if there's any over here. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I feel like there should be a six here somewhere. What is that? How did he not get hit by that? Blood Moon. Uh, thanks so much for the three month in advance sub. Thanks so much, dude. Six and red main. Oh yeah, for sure. Once we go to yeah, once we go to Kalid. But I would like to get it for Esger. It blasted hand. Oh, that's bullshit, dude. That's actually just bullshit. What the hell? How is it not connecting with anything? <laughs> Why is this happening? Why are you allowed to do that? Fuck you, man. Six. Yeah, I know it's got the AOE, but I how does it track so well? Like, I thought it would hit the wall or something. <laughs> JFK. Rune Bear. Yeah, I've already grabbed that one. Spinning six down the stairs. I probably already grabbed that too. Come on.
Not a six. I probably, well, six near Lionel's armor. I got the one above. Or like the one that was to the, I guess the like west of it. Or I got, actually maybe I didn't. I should go check maybe. I know there's a bunch of items down here. I don't know if any of these are actually smithing stones though. Like I, I, there's got to be some that I just don't know about. Urge steel dagger. Yeah, the problem is that I picked up most of these that you guys are saying. Like the one next to Avenue Balcony, I already grabbed. Big round table, one of the buildings. Let me see, where's this six that's around here? I probably already grabbed it. I love when you block and try to guard counter and then the attack just misses you. What the hell? Ah, <sighs> yep, of course. Imagine not letting me block from, like, 180. Yeah, I, I think I just grabbed most of them, dude. That's the problem. Surely there's got to be one lying around, though. Kind of a shame that Madness isn't more viable on PvE. This was quite a few NPC bosses, but... But yeah, I think there's a, f uh, a six over here, which I grabbed already. Broken staircase. Yeah, I, well, I definitely grabbed the item there. I don't remember what it was, but. To the left of... Oh, is there one up near the duelist? Because I wouldn't have grabbed that, I don't think. Maybe. Oh, did I grab it? I got the one outside of Sewer Moog, yeah. There's a four. Not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a smithing stone six somewhere, but. I one problem is that I don't know how many of like or which ones I've picked up because I've picked up a lot. I've picked up a lot, but I can't remember. I guess Yeah, the bell bearing the bell bearing we can get once we reach mountaintops, but But we're, we are doing this region locked, so... I just... I, I want to get this as upgrade as possible for Esgar, basically. 
like the roofs and I guess I haven't. Yeah, I think up here I haven't really looked around much. Behind a statue in a ditch. Let me just get Map Genie up. Probably should have done this a while ago. Um, okay. Materials. Smithing stone. I, I think there's there's probably some up here somewhere. Oh, on the way to mountaintops. Oh. Okay, well, I definitely haven't gone there yet. Let's just fucking clear this out, though. Why not? Full casual playthrough. Okay, let's chill out. Incredibly annoying how they like just block in time. Who gave these guys fucking perfumes to use? Who gave you that? Oh, that would have been the three for one, dude. How dare you break my guard? Surely there's got to be something up here, right? I don't know. Let's just look anyways. Seriously? Wait, he's... Where's your weapon? Where's his weapon at? Yeah, that guy was going shield only against me, dude. He's trying to match me. He's trying to match me, dude. That's hilarious. This is a fun build to just kill enemies with, I think. Seven, Smithing Stone, six, and, and Lane Dell. There's a fucking lion over here. I actually didn't even know there's a lion over here. Damn, he's getting destroyed.
Somber 6. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, oh. <laughs> dude, I almost fucking did it, dude. What is that item? Surely that's the six, right? What if it is? Let me, let me see where I'm at right now. Dude, I think it actually is a six. It is actually a six right there. <laughs> That's actually a six. What's the skip here? Is is this where that, that skip is that somebody was telling me about? Is this actually where it is? Like, do you jump on those ledges or something? Is that how is that what you do? Or what do you do? Or on that, maybe? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Nine months. You just jump it? Our baby is being born. Man, it looks like you can almost make that. Just kidding. Uh, Slithers, thanks for the nine month resub. Welcome back. Yeah, okay, okay. I just wanted to see how close that jump was. Do I need to, like, punch? I'm fine. I don't need to do it. Let's just go the other way. <laughs> so what does that prevent you from having to do? I guess go up the dragon wing and stuff? just go from here first try first playthrough dude surely why am I going here really to kill this guy A lot more enemies, Arnold? Yeah. Well, you just don't have as much room to, like, navigate through enemies, right? Because it's, it's more... It's more like going through levels instead of an open world or something like that. Here we go. There's the six. How long co-op? Uh, we're going to start at 6 p.m. EST, which is in three and a half hours. Yeah, I'll probably like highlight and stuff, so. No hit or no damage. They're both the same, basically. Okay. Depends on the game, right? All right, plus 19. There's probably another seven I could go get, but... It's fine. What's up, Zach? Okay, so. We don't have the Beast Torch. Um, but, I don't know. Esgar should get destroyed, hopefully. Actually, this is the wrong race, I guess. Oh, yeah, we, ha we actually... Um, I forgot. Yeah, we didn't pick up the sevens that were here. Okay, so I guess we are getting a plus, uh, plus 20. Not sure about more than that. Nice plunge. All right, now we're, we're starting to, like, kind of hit hard.
We are starting to hit quite hard, dude. 450 AR. And this is, I mean, now we started to level up a little bit of strength, so it makes sense that our damage is getting higher, but we're still not using any, like, damaging buffs, basically. Oil shield. We're gonna use it for Rikard. But, I, like, I, is it really that good? Like, isn't it just poison? Casual all remembrances with the S stock. Okay. And Erwin, thanks for the 100 uh, bits, dude. What is this guy? Maybe, maybe I'm the best nut ever. What even was that guy doing? Dark Star. <laughs> Thanks for the brand new Prime Star, dude. Smithing five. I guess I could have just come down here for all those smithing stones, dude, but. I don't know. It's all good. Okay, smithing seven. So that's a plus 20 now. Oh my god, I totally forgot you could come through here. Shadow bait. Ow. Guys, don't mess around, dude. Oh. A uh, scholar shield doesn't increase damage. I don't believe it. It gives it gives you extra hardness on your shield and more uh, guard boost. I think. Yeah, it definitely gives you more guard boost, and then it also, I believe, it also increases the magic damage absorption or negation. So it's very good, and you just like we get it right at the start of the game. So. All right, is that everything for this level? I guess we go down now. Kill these lobsters. Ride a beast with Miranda prayer. There's a spell for that? Like, that's the... Like, the holy rain from the flower? Or from the Mirandas? I don't know. I, I mean, I probably could, I guess, if there's enough FP. All right, lobster. Look at this. The most delayed fucking grab attack ever. Oh, of course that missed you. And shields are good on these guys. Look at this. Look at this delay. Are you going to stagger? Get him. He's just never going to stagger. Just kidding. By lobster. Sevens. So I, I I don't know if there's four more down here, but if we got four more, we'd be able to get a plus twenty one. Number seven.
I guess that's not safe. Shields OP. Uh, this beetle drops a somber seven, I think. Which I'll get anyways, because why not? Two more sevens? Are there two more? Are there two more seven somewhere? There's probably not. Or maybe there are, dude. Maybe there's two more sevens down here, but it, it's not a big deal. What is the point of this here? This, like, that's just a shortcut up to the top, right? I wonder what the point of that is. I guess if you're doing, like, a no fast traveling run or something. Let me just go see what's up here. 4-7 pickup. I think I already grabbed that. I did already grab that. ghosts in here. Most of these areas I, I haven't been to since my first playthrough. <laughs> like so I don't I don't remember the stuff. No fast travel run? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know if anyone's done like a no grace all boss run. I would like to do that at some point though. Which would have no fast traveling. Yeah, I, I guess I, I guess that's what this is for. Just to get back up. Alright, well, let's go. Uh, I guess I can just fast travel down here. Um, well, you have to go to round table at some point. Like, you'd have to... You'd have to make rules. Like, exceptions, right? Because you can't just do fully no grace. Unfortunately. Dungeon with the scam platform? There's no... There's no sevens in here, right? But yeah, you just need to make some exceptions. You you would have to go to round table uh you'd have to go to round table once. I think only once. Like to get into the capital. And I think doing doing those types of challenges glitchless is more fun. But maybe, I, maybe it wouldn't be, though. That sucks. Nice. What is down that way? Grave of Glow War 8. I've never even... I, I don't even know if I've ever looked down this way. 
I'm probably I probably have on my first playthrough, but I don't remember. Oh, I remember this actually. Okay, I've definitely come here on my first playthrough. I remember getting destroyed by these guys in here. Oh, I thought that was fast enough. This is where like blue tear stone. Are you guys seeing how much stamina consumption it's taking when I block their stuff? It's so small. It takes like basically zero stamina damage. Oh, did this got nerfed at some point? Gonna be careful. Like, what about it got nerfed? Oh my god. It strafed. Didn't take any... Oh, yeah, actually, people were saying that. It was like it had perfect guard boost or something. I, I The only reason I'm coming here, you guys, is I just want to remember what's over here. I really don't remember. Nothing. Fully blocking waterfowl. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to just block waterfowl or use a uh, vow of the indomitable. That's true, Malberry, but like sometimes FromSoft does nerf stuff and it's becomes garbage. I I honestly think they did a decent job in this game though of like when they nerf stuff not making it total trash in in some cases, like Sword of Night and Flame. I'm just coming Is there anything up here or should I just go? It is kind of funny how they do this area, man. Like, this guy's looking like he's sad that you killed his friend. Even though... You didn't. Yeah, Ice, Ice Rind is trash now. Yeah, that's true. Ice Rind's pretty bad. It didn't even need a nerf. Like, that's the thing with Ice Rind. Yeah, Flame of Red Mains too. I guess. Although, I don't think Flame of Red Mains is trash still. Esker here? Yeah, he's he's up the lift there. Just want to see if there's any items around here that I don't know about. But yeah, so this brings you back to like the main place, right? I'm gonna go down just to see. This is Oh wait, it's not. Oh. Do good damage. Yeah, Flame of Red Mains does respectable damage. Yeah, in fact, the only times that I used it on my on the all boss no hit run was it wasn't for boys damage. It was literally just to deal damage. Like it one shot at both of the mooses, I think. So, so yeah, like it, it does decent damage. I think that's why. Um, oh, I think that's that was the original purpose of it. But then they accidentally just like gave it way too much boys damage or something. I don't know. Hard to say. But yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say if it's better than like... Um, what's that? What's that fire? What's that fire one that gives you the buff? I don't remember, but... 
Yeah, Flame Strike. Yeah, Flame Strike is good too, but it obviously doesn't have as much range. So I think it was supposed to be like the the long ranged version. Oh, it brings you back around here. Ah, okay, this is interesting. And then which which version of Interesting. So <laughs> so I guess they just catch you around in the loop here. Funny. Just keep going around and around until you finally come up this. It's funny, I, like at this point, I know these areas. Like I know it well enough to just know how to get through, but I don't know it. What hap or I don't know what happens when you don't know how to get through it. Like, I only know the primary paths of these dungeons, not really the the other paths. Like in the chest dungeon as well. Like for a while, I like I only knew how to get through it, and that was basically it. Until until I did a run where I was like going to get all the pots and then I figured it all out, but I do like these catacombs. I think they're pretty funny. A shield setup. I was gonna buy I I basically, I think. Uh you know what? Before we go fight this boss, let's go upgrade the Urtree Great Shield. Because we can get it to plus eight. I love the Urtree Great Shield, you guys. Get a plus eight. What's up, Durbin? Yeah, one eyed shield. I'm excited to use that. I'm excited to use the Visage Shield too, although I think it's more of like a. I don't know if it's actually super strong or not. Well, I took you, my man, to lay out your arms then. It's going to be a long run. Hunter's not going to be happy with how long this run is, dude. All right, so plus 20 and plus eight. Pretty good. We could probably get a plus 21. I only need two more sevens. I just don't know where they are. Oh yeah, I do want to get this upgraded as well at some point. Not sure when though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, I can get it to plus seven, I guess. Let's maybe hold off though on the one-eyed shield because I kind of I, or wait until we get the one-eyed shield. All right, here we go. Let's see if madness procs here. Let's switch the ash of war. So let's let's go ahead with uh, I guess shield crash. And wow, look at that frost build up, dude. Should we go frost? Frosted Madness. Jesus, that's a lot of frost build up, dude. Okay. Uh, and maybe... I think our stats are good. Let me see the stats of... So the One-Eyed Shield requires 36 strength, so... I'm pretty sure we can just wield every shield in the game now. So, I guess we just keep going Endurance and Vigor, right? No, I I, I don't want to get that much damage. I want to keep our damage kind of low. Although, actually, wait a second. No, we're actually good. The only reason I'd want to get high strength at this point... Like, sure, it gives you more damage, but... I would just like it to one-hand the shields. That's probably the biggest reason. But yeah, I, the theme of this build, you guys, is like pure tank, and I still need this. We're going pure tank. I don't really care about our damage output. Which is why I basically haven't leveled strength until I've had to, and then other than that, it's all vigor and all endurance, basically. All right, here we go. Also, by the way, I just realized another reason to go to Kaled is to get... Uh, Bestial Vitality. That'd be quite nice.
Oh my god, look at that. You fucking dogs? I'm dead. No, I'm not. All right, I survived. Dude, the fucking dogs are so annoying. And I don't have enough poise to just go right through them. Too bad. Too bad. We, we really haven't died a lot in this run, but... I feel like most of the times I've died, it's been because of bleed. And yeah, we can't get the Beast Torch, of course, because it's in Kaled, so... So we're just kind of like... Needing to suck it up. Here we go. Oh, thank you. We got to try this, of course. Come on, buddy. Shoot it at me. I don't know if this actually would work, even. It definitely works. Wait, what is happening there? Did I just, like, block a bleed proc or something? Huh. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I think I did it twice there. Whatever I did, I think I did it twice. Because... I don't know. That was weird. Alright, there we go, though. Ask her down. Man, that frost buildup is insane. Unfortunately, we didn't get a madness proc, though. Alright, I think uh, Lane Dell's done, you guys. 88 bosses down. So, so now we have the choice, and I, I just, I really don't know what to do. Do we go to Mountaintops, or do we go to Kaled? Because obviously Kaled's got a lot more bosses in it. Um, there's a lot, there's probably more stuff overall in Kaled that I could get. That would be good for the build, like the Poise Talisman. Of course, we could go to, to uh, Gelmir as well. Mountaintops gives us the bell bearing that allows us to upgrade to um, like plus 18 on anything. We also get the one-eyed shield and we get the swaddling cloth is here. Uh, What else is here? The somber six and seven or I guess five and six is there. I think we're going to go to Mountaintop so I can get the One-Eyed Shield, you guys. I want to use the One-Eyed Shield on stuff in Kaled, and, like, the thing is, One-Eyed Shield is fire damage, right? And there's a lot of stuff in Kaled that's weak to fire, so... It, like, what I'm thinking, though, like, if I go to Kaled now, I'll, I'll, like, what do I even use the One-Eyed Shield on? And I want to use that thing, so... Yeah, that, that's what we'll do. And there's also, like, there's not a lot of bosses in uh, in mountaintops anyways, so. We just gotta kill Fire Giant, basically. There's, like, there's there's Commander O'Neill. Or, sorry, there's Commander Niall, and then there's 
Fire Giant, there's a uh, Hero of Zamora, there's the Godskin Snail fight, there's X Sykes, and there's a Death Bird, or Death Right Bird, and that's it. No, I grabbed my runes. Yeah, I, th I think doing mountain tops is better. That's really awkward. I wish Shield Crash had better tracking, but maybe it'd be broken if it did. Blame grant me strength. I, I'm not using any damaging stuff, so I wouldn't even use it. I probably wouldn't even use it. Yeah, Mountaintops and then Kaled, and then probably after Kaled, we can go... I mean, we could also do Farmazula after Mountaintops, right? There's only two, three bosses there, and that would allow us to get some maxed out stuff. So maybe I do... I, I don't know. Yeah, we're doing Gelmir as its own place. Yeah, underground it would be after Kaled. Or at least show for rivers after Kaelin. Fuck you, dog. Jesus, dude. They're so annoying. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. That's why you go This is why the. I cannot believe that missed. This is why the Beast Torch is, like, required. Wow, I strafed both of those somehow. Man, the Frost is crazy, dude. Uh, Salomon, thanks for the five-month Prime sub. Welcome back. It destroyed. Always kill dogs, dude, in the game, obviously. <laughs> there's a, there's a, oh. Stone is up here. Or maybe it's down there. We're actually, we're starting to deal some serious damage now. Bull goat talisman. No, we haven't gotten to Kaled yet, so. So not yet. We're actually dealing some serious damage now. Look at that. Just totally just block it, dude. Those sprinting block frames are very good. Got fucking shivved by a... <laughs> Perfumer. Stop blocking, dude. Why are you blocking? Let me blast you with my brick. Or my slab of concrete. What's up, Mad King? This is such a great build, dude. 
It's not even like a, a meme build either. It's like it's it's funny, but it's it's pretty strong. I wonder what build we should go for on Fire Giant. Frost isn't really great on him. Not sure how much we're gonna be able to like guard counter him either. Huge fingerprint. Who's oh I guess is it, are these the fingerprints of like the two fingers? I never even thought about that. Or the whatever fingers. Oh yeah, Perry's fireball is true. Yep, true. So we're plus eight on the Erdtree Great Shield, and we're gonna get that one-eyed shield to plus seven. Actually, I guess we can get it plus nine. Not sure what shield we're gonna want to get to plus nine first, but or how many how many maybe, somber nines maybe. are in the mountaintops? I can ever. only think of one. Um, Fijus, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. How many nines are there up here? Oh, you know what I didn't think about, you guys? I guess... Dude, I guess this duo up here would technically be part of Altus, right? Or... Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best I've actually thought about ever. that. What region is this duo from? I gotta say, it's probably Altus. Uh, Flip Froggy, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub. Oh. Yeah, I would say it's probably Altus. So, good thing I didn't go to Caleb. Oh, that's so strong, dude. That frostbite. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Ozzy, thanks ever. for the 49-month resub, dude. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh. Poor horsey. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Two months awesome when Pog hits him with a shield slash junior. <laughs> Man, this shield is so good. Aw, oh, too bad. I bet it wasn't the shield. Not like I would use it, but I just, I would like to get it. Uh, aw, Sam, dude. Thanks for the two month resub. Thanks, dude. Oh, you're still alive. I I know nothing about hair, Tolnan, dude. So I'm probably the last person to ask about that. I don't know anything. Okay, so th this is a weird boss because... Like, if you're doing region locked, and you count this as part of Altus, would you be allowed to go get this grace down here? I would say probably not, right? Even though it's super inconvenient, because you'd have to run all the way back from... way over there. Huh. Not a boss I, I thought about. Yeah, just... I'm not gonna die, probably, but... Like, I was just wondering if, if you were just doing this, like, casually, and you could die. It's kind of weird, but... I probably won't die. I'm gonna run out of FP though. This damage is decent, dude.
Very decent damage. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Wait, it knocked him down again? I guess he's not transforming for whatever reason. Wow. That's very good. <laughs> Got Rolo. Very good. The third rail. Thanks for the six month in advance sub. Thanks so much, dude. This is actually way more damage than I had, even on my first playthrough, I think. Or at least part of it. At least part of my first playthrough. Pretty impressive. Considering we're going with like no damage buffs, basically. Oh my god, I forgot I can't use horse here. Why can you not use horse here, dude? It makes no sense. <laughs> Torture, yeah. Basically. Or DS3 boss, uh, Demon Prince. Would skip the boss. You think so? Yeah, you get a horse in DS3. Most more got the fire giant so boring. Yeah, I agree. I think even just being able to use horse on this bridge would have made a huge difference, dude. That would have made a huge difference. It's the dagger, right? Blade of Calling. Whose office is this, man? Melina's office. I guess it makes sense. Okay, Blackblade Kindred and Knight's Cavalry. I would I would say that that all these bosses here are part of a part of mountaintops, even though technically it's not. Like this is kind of its own area, actually. I don't know. I guess I guess you could do it where you count this as its own region, Forbidden Lands, with two bosses in it, but seems kind of unnecessary. Seriously? Holy shit! There's a lot of guys here. There's no match for the shield. Is there something up in this skull here? I, I don't even know if I've ever tried to come up here before. I guess there's not. Hmm. I, yeah, I don't think I've ever even come up here before. And I guess that's why, because there's nothing here. Has it somber nine? Uh, it's got the somber ten. Like there's there's a few skulls, right? One of them's got a somber seven. That's in Forbidden Lands. And then the one before Fire Giant has a ten, or a normal ten. But I don't know if there's others that have other stuff.
All right, what what can the Knight's Cavalry do against this build? Probably nothing. Oh, is there no little guy in here? Maybe it's only in the daytime? I actually don't know. I thought there were little guys here. Oh. Wow, that works surprisingly well. Oh, I tried to do a sprint attack. I'm getting blasted. hitbox dude who decided that this guy was going to be able to summon after like 0.1 seconds of being off his horse I wonder if they thought that was like cool like oh yeah he's going to summon okay and now he's bugging out and he whiffs me somehow Look at that. See, that's that's what I'm talking about right there. Just block right through it. Look at it. It's beautiful, dude, isn't it? Like, it's kind of a cool, um, like, it's a cool play style. Just, like, wait for them to attack, and then instead of dodging it, you just... You just don't dodge it. You just trade. Beautiful. And it works. It works quite well on the nice cavalrys too. Count is a hit. Yeah, blocking is a hit for zero hit runs. Yeah. See, there's a summer seven there. Talisman. Uh, we're using these talismans so far. So Arsenal Charm for carry weight, HP regen, guard counter, and uh, great shield talisman. Oh man, I really have to sneeze. Now, ideally, I'd like to get rid of the Arsenal Charm to swap it for the green turtle talisman or um, like, I mean, there's a lot of talismans that could be good. All right, do I need the HP regen here? Probably not. We'll just fight him. One problem with these enemies is they're... Oh, blocking this? That's decently effective. Definitely would be better to go with the charge. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and switch that. 
the charge talisman is much better here because like these guys are kind of too big to guard counter let's go ahead with that okay did tank a decent amount of damage there but my damage is honestly fantastic right now Gar counter that move. Man, the damage is kind of crazy. Good swap here. Like, the reason this damage is so surprising to me is because we're not, like, I don't know. We're not trying to optimize the damage at all. Yet, this is actually doing some reasonable damage. Like, just easily. Yeah, true, they are weak to magic. That is, or weaker to magic. That's a good point. World's first. Well, somebody's actually... Uh, Distraction Crab has been working on that for a while. All enemies... Not even not on, not even just an all enemies run, but an all enemies no hit run. So. But yeah, that, I mean, that's obviously like a huge run. Okay, I think we just keep going Endurance. Um, And maybe I should consider... It's actually, I like the the frost is doing pretty well, but we could get more damage if I just go into heavy. But I do like the frost, man, and the lightning could be useful, I guess, somewhere. Let me just think. So we got Commander Nile. There's the Death Bird. Godskins can't be procked with frost. I don't think. The lightning could be good for block. Like, look at that lightning, dude. 97.2 against Commander uh, Commander Nile, dude. He's just not going to be able to hit me. Go heavy for now. Go to Redan Great Rune. I definitely, I, I might, but I, I don't know, dude. Like, the, the five in every stat is so valuable. And I'm not sure. I live in Canada, Alfie. Potentially, we can proc Vike with Madness if that works. I don't know. Actually, Texas? Yeah, dude. Surely. I don't know. Should I try for the Fire Prelate set? Or is that going to, like, take way too much time? Because I guess I could farm it from this guy up here, right? I don't know. How much more poise is the fire prelate set over Lionel? I want to fight these guys and just see. I'm to see if they bonk off my. Accolade strafes. You can't go up there.
Okay, well. Uh, I didn't, uh, Hidzo. I, I haven't actually watched any of the World Championship. Yeah, I, I would like to, but I just, I just, I've been busy. 96 versus 86. And how much is, uh, okay, I mean, that's pretty good. By the way, are there any, like, smithing stones in here? What is in here? Apparently there's some stuff in here. Is it more ice storm? Are going to get past Malekith by just winning? Yeah, we may... Like, I, I'm actually debating whether I should go to... Far Missoula before Kaled. I think I might, dude. I guess there's not much here, is there? It's a meat... Yeah, I don't know. I guess there's not really much here. So, I, I guess the first step is to go get the, the one-eyed shield. I think that's the first thing we should do. Before we fight this tree spirit, or tree, whatever. Oh, boy. How am I going to get him down <laughs> from here? This is a seven here, so I don't really need it, but I wouldn't mind getting it. Which run was I the most happy to finish it? Like, out, out of any run I've done? Probably, uh... Probably the level 1 upgrade all bosses run in DS3. A few years ago. Here we go. Only time when I cried, and I definitely did not cry. <laughs> I, I don't... I'm pretty sure there's nothing in a video game that would ever make me cry. Um, but... But, yeah. I'm not a crier, dude. Come on. Why does this happen? Why do I insist on fighting these fuckers, dude? It goes the same way every single time. Yeah, what I, what I always say there needs to be here, there needed to be a way to like, take an elevator up to the top of this area uh, into this hero's grave. And then you kill a boss, and then all of a sudden you're, like, at Fire Giant, basically. Instead of having to run all the way around. I think that would have been really cool. Even with that, I think most people would probably still just... Like, say you're doing a no-hit run, you'd probably still just run all the way around, because it's... Depends on what the boss was. But yeah, for speed, it, like that would save you so much time because normally you got to run all the way through here. And then usually we come around here, take the bridge to here, run all the way back here, all the way up, and then you're at Fire Giant. But if there's like a, a back entrance to this hero's grave, you get up here, you run around, and then you're at Fire Giant. Like that would have been so cool. All right, what are we saying about this pre-late set here, man? I guess it depends how tanky this guy is. Oh my god.
What a cool moveset, though. Very annoying. Stop. Why are you so agile? Anybody know the uh, drop rate on this stuff? Five percent? Seriously? We probably don't need it, but... It would be nice to upgrade our armor. Just so we have more poise. But probably the biggest upgrade at this point would be just getting the bull goat talisman. Man, he does a lot of damage. It's okay. We don't need it. <laughs> he takes way too long to kill. Yeah, pre late boss would have been sweet. Because the movesets on them, like, it's, it's very cool already. And it wouldn't take... I don't think it would take a lot to make it... Interesting. Like, very cool. Like, very, like, boss cool, you know? Like, both of them. The, this guy's, I, I, the, the, the hammer guy's a little bit more simple than this guy, but, or maybe that's just because I fought him more. They're both cool. Same with the lions, right? Like, they should have made a, a lion boss at some point. And it would have been much better than, um, a lot of the bosses that exist currently, like the Crystallians, just take away all the Crystallian bosses, replace it with the Prelates or something, dude. Although, like, I don't know. Yeah, the line, the line in Converges is pretty cool. What is this? Lion's Claw, Ash of War. No, that's that's just an enemy. Not a boss. No, it doesn't have a health bar. Well, well, it has a health bar, but not a big one on the bottom of the screen. <clears throat> What's up, Shogun? Oh man, it's already 3:30, guys. Actually, I got to I got to go soon. But I will be back on tonight again. So it won't be that long, but we're the rare double stream today. Yeah, I'll probably just go grab this grace up here and then uh yeah.
Skyrim co-op tonight, dude. Yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern. Seven's in the statue here. Like this statue up here? Or is there another statue? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I'll grab this and then I'll end. Yeah, it's going to be fun, dude. I, I don't know what we're going to do, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't even know which one it is type to you right now, but it's it's in two and a half hours, which I th I think is daylight time, right? I don't know. Come on, buddy. Gotta run three testing. Well, we definitely have to finish this run. Okay, what is this guy doing? Know what build I'm going to do in Skyrim? I have no idea. I guess it depends what we do. I, I do like going magic usually. But we'll have to see. Oh my god. Seriously? Yeah, we did test the mod. Yeah. Keep moving forward, my guy. Do that follow up. There we go. Yes. Yes. Come on. If you start backpedaling. All right, that's this should be it. Follow up. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. All right, so that's going to be nice. That's a plus 21. I don't know if there's any eights in, in this area. There might be, but... But we, we at least have a plus 21, so... Hopefully I remember that for next time. But anyways, yeah, thanks for hanging out uh, so far, you guys. I Like I said, I will be back in about two and a half hours to do some Skyrim co-op with uh, Potastic. And yeah, that's going to be fun, dude. I, I don't, like I said, I don't know like what we're actually going to try to accomplish, but I'm excited, dude. I haven't played Skyrim in, in a while and uh, I don't know. It's going to be fun, dude, but it's going to be, maybe it's going to be like a good, I, I think I said this the other day, it's going to be good reason to go back to doing some Elder Scrolls runs again, which I would like to do, so.